Hey guys, good morning. So my name is Brooke. I'm going to be taking you guys through a day in life as a pre-bachelorette student at Barnard. Okay, so as you can see, everyone kind of woke up. I didn't want y'all to see me wear in the morning because I look a little groggy. But I was in that bed. I did some stretches. I went to the communal bathroom. So then I got a little bit of makeup on, my jewelry on, and I'm right now eating breakfast in my room. A lot of people use the dining hall. I'm like... Mm, about it mostly because I really like Cheerios. They don't have Cheerios, so this is not sponsored, but I love Cheerios. So yeah, um, I want to first give you like a little overview of oh, <laughs> what's going on today, so that y'all know a little bit. So first, we are going to class, um, which is absent mothers and wicked stepmothers. Um, unfortunately, I can't film the class, but I will give you all my thoughts afterwards. It is such a cool class, and we're right now having like an essay writing day. Um, after that, we have lunch and then study hall, which I will also be working in, and then I'll try to like get some pre-back students to tell you their experience also. After that, we have a mess game, and then yeah, after that, um, we're gonna see my nighttime routine. I love reading, so you're gonna see me with all my books, and I'm reading Fourth Wing by Rebecca Faraz, and I'm also reading Black Autonomy, which is very different books, but very cool. Anyway. Hey everyone, my name is Lillian, and I'm going to be vlogging the Barnard pre back experience with Brooke. So right now, it's 3.53 in the morning, and I cannot sleep. There's a huge fly in my room right now. So I've set up a trap um, of cough drops <laughs> to hopefully get it to land in there. Anyways, we'll see how that goes. Still working on my homework for class in the morning. It's at 9 a.m. I don't think I'm gonna get that much sleep. procrastinated on my work last night, so I need to do it right now. Class starts in about an hour and a half. Hi, this is editing, Brooke and Lillian, because we didn't explain what our class was. So. Okay, so it's called Dead Mothers and Wicked Stepmothers, and it's taught by Professor Shur Haim. Um, and it is about kind of taking um, a psychological lens, like a Jungian lens, and then using that to look at fairy tales and kind of unpack the misogyny and the issues in them. And it's very eye-opening, and I've had a really great time in the class so far. We love it a lot, but um, we're, I'm also referencing in that clip an essay that I had to print out. So anyway, back to the clip. Hi, this is VoiceOver Lillian. These are Asha and Laura, two very cool and very fun friends that we made. We love them. Hi everyone, this is me back in LA and I forgot to record on the way over because it was raining, but class was really good. We talked a lot about our essay and um, we have some really good conversations. Right now we're going back to the dorm. We have study hall in like two hours, so I'm gonna grab some food and then I'm just gonna lay on my bed for a while. But class was really good. We talked a lot about the mother archetypes, a lot about the patriarchy, and it was super fun. Anyway, I'll see you guys in two hours when I take my nap. Wait, I'll just ask you things. <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. This is my really good friend, Bree. She lives right over there. <laughs> but um, I wanted to ask you some questions so you guys can get different responses. So, where are you from, Bree? I'm from Westchester, New York. You're from New York. Oh, and I'm from California. I don't know if I said that. But oh my gosh, you're another person. <laughs> okay, this is for my day in my life. Ready? Callie, where are you from? I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. You're from Baltimore. How has your experience been so far, Callie? It's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. Yeah. And like anything stand out? Um, uh, meeting Brie. Meeting uh, Brie. Oh, oh. And the other one. I guess. And the <laughs> other one. Uh, our our RC is named Brianna. We love yeah. her. And then Brie. What has your experience been? <laughs> um, I really liked it. Like I love my class. Love the people mm -hmm. here. Everyone's super nice. Yes, we have like very like the best group ever. Yeah, like we, we are all so chill. Um, what classes are you guys taking? We're in the feminism science and reproductive. Yeah, class. and I'm in dead mothers and wicked stepmothers. How has that been? Are they combining a lot of things, or how would you describe the class in like three words? Challenging. Challenging. Um, okay, that's good. Um, I don't know. what was it? I don't want to steal your words. It's okay. You guys can do three words okay. together. Okay, so uh, challenging. And 
Enlightening. Enlightening. And fun. Fun. Okay, yeah. I would use the same way to send my class. What I really like about fine art in our classes is that it's not like just science because mm -hmm. they're taking reproductive tech. It's not just science. It yeah. combines a lot of different fields and it works with like the women's mind. But anyway, yes, that is my little interview section for today. But thank you guys. I'll see you for study hall. Okay, so we were right now in Bree's room, but we actually decided to go to the gym because we both have a Columbia gym membership. So we're going to give you a little tour of the gym. Um, all we want to do is stretch because yesterday we went to the gym and we kind of died. So there's also a boxing room, which I love. Anyway, <laughs> I'll take yours over there. It is raining so hard right now. It is so bad. Um, that's what happens in New York a lot. It's just, it just rains. But yeah, I'll take you guys over. Hi everyone, I lied. I'm going to the gym in five minutes. But first, I want to interview my good friend, Allison. So Allison, where are you from? I'm from Westchester, New York, which is also where Bree is from, who we just talked to. I wanted to ask you, what class are you taking? Uh, Dead Mothers and Lucky Settlers with you. With me! <laughs> and how has your experience been so far? I really like it. It was everything that I hoped it would be. Yay! Okay, and then what is three words you would to describe our class? Mm. <laughs> no, I'm like, not yeah. sure. Alright, uh, I think we've heard enlightening, challenging, fun. It's definitely new. New, okay. Um, fills up time. <laughs> new. Fills up so time consuming. Mm -hmm. uh, and I guess also might Enlightening. Okay, well, I would say thank you, Addison. But thank you. So, we just trekked through the rain. They're very wet. Um, anyway, I want to do some yoga. Here is what it looks like. Super fun. So, what you do is just put yourself down. And I'm going to go to a yoga mat. So, all I have to do is just scan your ID and then ask for a yoga mat, and you are good to go. I'll put myself like a time pass. I'm doing some stretches. So yeah, we have the rock jog, cool. kind of scary. Um, we have a boxing gym, which is super cool. Hi, can I have a yoga mat, please? Sure. Oh my gosh, you're journaling? Yeah. Oh, I love. No, I journal every morning too, but it's only like a paragraph. It's kind of bad. It's kind of what I have time. No, seriously, especially when you're at work, it's like mine as well. Thank you so much. Okay, so I got a yoga mat. Super easy. Down here is the brown Columbia we know because we are great and we must acknowledge it. Um, anyway, I'm just going to put my yoga mat down and start with my stretches. Um, <laughs> Hi, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the program since you get to watch this amazing video of me stretching, but some of the things I really love or um, stuff that Ari hosts, so I know tomorrow night I'm going to the spa night and I am actually so excited. Um, the night before that, I went to this woman in comedy night in like Milstein's theater and that was super cool. I know that we've had like painting on tote bag nights and that we've had painting on things in general, but overall I really enjoy all the activities here and then back to me. Okay, so we are right now walking to the dining hall. It's 1.30. We are getting some lunch. Um, it's kind of cold right now, so this is what the fit looks like. And Brianna, of course, is wearing shorts because she doesn't feel coldness, apparently. <laughs> so, anyway, I will go show you the options once we get inside. Okay, so this is the dining hall. So you grab a plate. Let's see what they have. So there's a little fun on it. We have cookies, we have chicken tenders. All the people from veterans look amazing. Um, cookies, we have chocolate cookies, oatmeal raisins, and some banana bread. Over here we have the same thing. Then we have always pizza. And then we have salad bar, which I love because it is actually the best. And then oh, tortilla chips, dried blueberries, and we have some chips. Uh -huh. Let's go get some food. Hi guys, it's Editor Brooke again. I wanted to talk a little bit about like 
some of the spots I like to study on campus and just the spots I like on campus. I love Dodge. I love sitting next to Diana on the steps when it's warm out. Oh, it's amazing. People actually don't know you can study Diana because like no one stays in there and it's amazing. I also love studying on the third floor of Milstein because it's quiet and I like to sit on the very, very comfy green chairs. But I hope you enjoy this amazing, amazing time lapse of me studying. Anyway, back to Lillian. <laughs> And I am drafting my essay for class. Okay, so because we're going to the Mets game, I'm now wearing Mets colors, wearing a Yankees hat. Um, we are right now walking over to the dining hall, where I will show you our wonderful food selection and everything. <laughs> Maria, how do you feel about the Mets again? Are you ready? I am ready. I'm ready. They better win, otherwise it's going to be really embarrassing. So. <laughs> okay, this is us on the elevator. We are going down to the Yankees game. Yeah. yeah. It's the Mets, actually. The Mets. The Mets. Never mind. Yeah. I'm just no. disappointed. Okay, everyone. We are outside of the Mets stadium. Why is this lighting hitting me really good? Oh my god. Okay, I wear it. Just take picture. Anyway. We're at the Mets Stadium. I'm scared because I am a Yankees fan. So am I. And I think we're going to get... My prediction is that the Mets are going to win because if they didn't, that would be embarrassing. What is your prediction, Bree? It's a home game, so, you know. They better win. Kyle, what's your prediction? I think the Yankees are going to win. Me too. I think the Yankees are going to win. Yankees, Yankees, Yankees. I'm actually going to get mauled. Do not do what I do. Anyway, I will throw that one up there. This is us on the one train on our way to the Mets game. This is the free Mets jersey we got for being the first of 10,000 fans in the stadium. Somebody offered me $5 for it. It's going for 60 online. This is the view from section 518. It's like kind of behind the home plate, but also not really. I paid $16.88 for these nachos because I didn't want to splurge for the baseball one and the bowl started decomposing in my hands. Hi guys, this is us after the Mets game. We're going home at like 10 o'clock. How do you feel after the game? I want to go back. You want to go back? Happy and tired. It was very good. I have a lot of clips that you guys should watch. Anyway, we should be back in an hour. It's going to be a long time. We're going to get back right before we have to be in our room. So that's lovely. Shower tomorrow. Shower tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed the day in life. Okay. We are, off the we are back from the Mets game. It is 11 o'clock at night and we are very tired. I'm not going to follow anymore because we both really want to go to sleep. But Yeah, I need a shower. I smell terrible. <laughs> um, Thank you for watching our day in the life. It's been a long day. It's been a very long day. Not every day looks like this, but we have a lot of fun. Yeah. But thank Hopefully. you for watching.